за та хүмүүсийн арга дээр юм шиг одоо юу сүүл 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 юу одоо гурхаар юу аа гэдэг дараахаас юм шиг нарийн хэлбэр миний бодлоор сайн гарч ядэр инстаграм ч гэдэг задгаа дайрахтал нэг контор уктуулсан зэрсэн зүгтэй ч юм яг би найм дээр хойлгоцсон шүү за эсвэл чи гайхлыг хараад байна yeah that's what we're doing this morning watching some um uh tug nyambayar Tate. His name is actually uh let me see let me not mess it up. I've been practicing the last I'm going to say half an hour before the video sitting here like Tug Stoop. Tug Stoop Nambear, all right? Of Mongolia. He is 11 and 0 with 9 KOs. He's facing Gary Russell Jr. WBC 126 pound champion on Showtime Championship Boxing February 8th in Allentown, PA. Just an hour and a half from me and I'm going there. Allentown They're not really known for much outside of maybe Dorney Park or something but Allentown. Anyway, I'm Tishri Controversy with fightview360.com. We're going to talk about the fight, talk about what's next. I just got finished a little bit of a uh, marathon of watching some uh, Tux Dude. Nam Bayar Tate and I'm going to say I'm going with Gary Russell. The Claudio uh, Moro uh Morero fight is the one that I was just watching right here. Oscar Escondon who was trained by uh, uh Ruben Guerrero a watch that fight that's available online to watch um stopped him after going down early himself the Torrey watched that earlier basically you know what i'm seeing is you know see here's the thing how old is this man so he's okay i mean i'm trying to figure out how to put it I see I don't I don't I don't want to say he's basic or basic pressure fighter power puncher you know but I just don't really see too much there that can make me think like yo he going to give Gary Russell some problems Remember Gary Russell fought um uh Jojo Diaz the current 130 pound IBF champion By the way this fight was filled with a lot of low blows and all kind of shit That's Tug obviously in the uh, black and gold So anyway let's go look at Gary Russell fight one time a year that shit is just it's an enigma you know it's it's just like why it's crazy he's 31 years old and he's 30 and 1 with 18 kilos 5 and 1/2 he's about that height i'm sure yeah that's his height kiko martinez was his last fight christ christ well it's not a full year since he fought at least you know he fought in may so this is this is this is just february So that's what's up. Off to a fast start. A year before that he fought in May. Oh, May is belong to him the end of May before Memorial Day. You know, Jojo Diaz, we just saw Jojo Diaz defeat Tevin Farmer last weekend. Oscar Escandon, I remember that fight in the MGM. This was around the time that arena just opened up, right? Or that casino or whatever, I don't remember. Um, Tugni MBR fought him. Remember I just told you I just watched that tape. Common opponent. Patrick Hyland, Johnny Gonzalez, and it really started in 2015. So one fight 2015. One fight 2016, one fight 2017, one fight 2018, one fight 2019 and my god, that's just crazy, but you know he fights his mandatories. It's just that he don't fight nobody else. For whatever reasons that is, we don't know. You know. Also, looking at the rankings, it's like How him and Leo Santa Cruz haven't fought yet. You know, and with Tank Davis's situation going on right now, I wonder if that opens up the possibility of a Gary Russell versus a Leo Santa Cruz now cuz Leo Santa Cruz got to fight somebody. Javante Tank Davis, if you don't know, got a little bit of an issue, not a little bit, but of an issue going on, you know, with a uh, public image and PR in regards to him gripping his baby mom up and escorting her out of a um um not escorting dragging her pretty much out of a uh, charity a TMT char- charity Super Bowl event Shakur Stevenson and Josh Warrington are working on something but not to fight next right are they going to fight next I got to update my rankings by the way I'm going to be take I haven't updated my rankings since like January the 2nd right now what's today's date uh, February the 4th so you know I'm sure the rankings are updated by now So we're going to take a little bit of a jump cut, talk a little bit about the fight for another couple of minutes and history controversy with fightview360.com.
February 8th. I think I King Tut is a good fight right now. I always say he's a good fight right now. He's more technically sound than a lot of the other guys that's competing right now. Gary was the guy I was watching. We had him on first. Till we see how much. I know he's a tough competitor. I know he's going to try his best. He's going to be there. He does have pop with his punches. But uh, we ready. We game. We hungry. Who's your favorite? Sanch, the first day. You, you put him here, just to get. I wish CBS events wasn't just such dicks in regards to like their content. The reason why I'm doing this, even though this is build up content, they just be sending you copyright claims for just the dumbest of shit. They, you know, they police their stuff so hard. I'm not saying there's nothing wrong with it, but in regards to news reporting, there is something wrong with it. You know, so um, on the Showtime Championship boxing page, let me tell you what the schedule is. I'm going to Allentown for the final press conference. So I'm going to take that ride on a Thursday. You know, it's going to be a nice little hour and a half, little ride in the countryside and shit, you know, out there to the uh, final press conference. I'm not going to the weigh-in. We're going to be live streaming the weigh-in here and, um, you know, doing our final predictions and everything. And then I'm going to be there on fight night. And I'll be doing my post-fight videos, you know, obviously when I come back from the fight. So let's go look at their schedule. They are streaming the weigh-in. I'm going to put all this stuff down below in the um, description box. I'm actually just interested to see who's actually going to be attending the Allentown Media event. Crazy, right? Here's the uh, promo. The fastest hands in boxing take center stage to conduct a symphony of speed. That's Gary Russell, who's faster than a speeding bullet. What a punch! Plus, Guillermo Rigondo fights to compose his own masterpiece. Saturday, February 8th. Yeah, I'm going to do a Rigondeau video. Here's the undercard. Um, uh, Rigondeau's competing. He's moving down. Remember, he fought Loma at 126, right? No, wait, when did, where did he fight Loma at? That was 128, so 130. Then he went back down to 122. And now, no, he didn't go back down to 122. Though he did eventually. But basically, you know Rick and Dow was being a 122-pound fighter his whole career. And now he's moving down to 108 pounds. No, 18. My bad. Shit. 118 pounds. So that's going to be interesting in itself. You know, for a WBA interim title that shouldn't exist because, you know, the monster in Noye got the, you know, the real belts. But anyway, um, you're going to have the uh, brothers Russell, all of them fighting. That's one question I want to be able to ask Gary Russell or any of them. Like, you know, I, I know they talked about it before, but I want to know, damn it. What's the story? How are y'all all named the same? Gary Allen Russell? Gary Antoine Russell? Gary Antonio Russell? You got Jamonte Clark. Jamonte Clark had uh, got knocked out of the ring by um, um, Jason Rosario. Tough dude. No, but he got back in the ring. He ain't just getting knocked out and get up. He got back in. Anthony Valesquez. You know, solid-ish uh, card. Solid-ish. You know? Anyway, on T Street Controversy, we're FightView360.com. We cover every single major fight live. Check out our merch store down below in the description box. Check out our rankings and our website, FightView360.com, for your ticket info, boxing rankings, which I'll update myself because, after all, they are a tool that I need to be able to do my videos. Please subscribe. We cover every single major fight live, and I will be at the fight this weekend.